Well, good morning, everybody. Thanks for joining together in prayer today. We're drawing nearer to our conclusion of our 21 days of prayer and fasting, and I just want to say thank you for uh, joining together each and every day. And I trust that God has done some good things. I know he always does good things, but I trust there's some, some maybe some new good things that he is doing in your life during these three-week period of time. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face, turn from their wicked ways, and I'll hear from heaven, I'll, heal, I'll forgive their sin and heal their land. Great prayer. Uh, it's a great reminder of what God, of what our responsibilities and what God does in our, as we pray. Today, we want to pray for our uh, leaders, our nation. And so go to Romans chapter 13. Listen to what the Apostle Paul writes. He says, everyone must submit himself to the governing authorities. For there's no authority except that which God has established. The authorities that exist have been established by God. Consequently, he who rebels against the authority is rebelling against what God has instituted. And those who do so will bring judgment on themselves. For rulers hold no terror for those who do right, but for those who do wrong. Do you want to be free from fear of one authority? Then do what is right, and he will commend you. For he is God's servant to do you good. But if you do wrong, be afraid, for he does not bear the sword for nothing. He is God's servant and agent of wrath to bring punishment on the wrongdoer. Therefore, it is necessary to submit to the authorities, not only because of possible punishment, but also because of conscience. It's a, it's a great, great reminder that uh, God is the one who sets up leaders and he is the one who removes leaders. And our responsibility is to submit to those authorities. And so I think one of the great ways that we can do that, we may not always agree. You know, there's no question that we live in a very polarized uh, time in our political uh, life today. But yet we can still pray. We can believe and we can uh, plead. We can uh, implore God to... Uh, affect the hearts and minds and decisions of those who serve us in public office. And one of the great ways we can do that is that we must be people of prayer for our nation. <clears throat> so today, let's pray for our nation. Join me if you would. Jesus, we approach you today with humility. Lord, I pray that our hearts are right before you. And now, Lord, hear us as we pray. Heal our land. There's no question our land is in need of healing. I said a minute ago, we live in a very polarized time. Uh, there's a lot of red, there's a lot of blue. And there's a lot of in-between. There's a lot of uh, challenges that we face. We know that, but we still live in a great nation. And Lord, we pause and we say thank you for those who serve us in leadership. And we pray for President Biden, Vice President Harris, those who serve in their cabinet. We pray for our senators, our Congress people from the state of California. We pray for our governor, Governor Newsom. Lord, while we may not agree or with all the decisions that are made, that's not the issue. The issue for us is to pray. And Lord, we pray that you, by your spirit, would move in their lives and they would govern righteously. Lord, when they, when they don't govern righteously, when they make decisions that are so counter and contrary to the things of God, we pray that the convicting power of the Holy Spirit would turn them towards you. We do thank you for our leaders. And Lord, we do pray that, uh, that you will direct them in the course of righteousness. And Lord, we do pray this morning, forgive us as a nation for our failures in so many ways. Yes, we're a great country, but it doesn't mean that we're perfect. And so Lord, we ask your forgiveness this morning. And we pray, Lord, that you would hear us and that you would truly heal our land. Lord, America has been such a, uh, a beacon of hope and, and, and has produced, has done so many good things over the centuries of time. And Lord, I pray that once again, we would be in a place of doing great things for your honor and praise. Use us, Lord, as an agent of good and as an agent of God throughout our world. We give you thanks today for America. Thank you, Jesus. Now give us each one a great day. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Thanks for joining me today. Blessings to each of you. We'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow morning at 714. Bye now.